Welcome back everybody. In today's video I'm sharing some things with you that I've been really loving over the last couple of weeks or months and I hope you will enjoy it. Now the first thing I want to share with you is not a product you can buy but a comment one of you left under one of my recent videos and the comment was that this particular viewer doesn't normally comment under YouTube videos but she does undermine because this right here feels like a community and it made me so happy to hear that and I absolutely loved it. I couldn't agree more. We have created such a beautiful, supportive, uplifting and positive community and I have you to thank for it and even Rudy, our neighbor's rooster, wants to be part of it. I am sorry if you hear him in the background all the time. As soon as I sit down, he wants to talk. But anyways, I have you to thank for it. So thank you so much for being part of this beautiful, amazing community. Now, the first thing I want to share with you that you can actually buy is my new water bottle. I recently got this off of Amazon and I have been absolutely loving it. There's Rudy. I have been absolutely loving it. I have a hard time drinking enough water. We live in southern Italy. It is insanely hot here right now. In fact, I feel as if I'm sitting in a sauna making this video for you. So if you see me getting more and more sweaty, I'm really sorry. I actually have an ice pack in my lap. That's how hard it is. So I have a hard time drinking enough water, even though it is so hot. So I got this bottle and it is really helping. This is two liters. So what I will do is I will fill it up at night and have it on the kitchen counter. I drink it first thing in the morning. I try to finish this before lunch and then I fill it up again. So if I drink two of these, I have a gallon. And then, depending on how much I'm sweating, I will fill it up one more time. But I absolutely love it. It keeps my water nice and cold, or you could put something warm in it and it will keep it nice and hot. These come with different openings. So I got the narrow moused one. I'm not sure how you say that. But they also have white moused ones. It comes with different lids. So this has the lid, so you can hold it like this. It also comes with a straw lid and a sippy cup lip. So it comes with three different lids. But like I said, you can also get a white mouse one. So I absolutely love this bottle. I love the color. It reminds me of the ocean, but it comes in many different colors. And it was also fairly inexpensive. Some of these can be crazy expensive. I can't exactly now remember how much I paid, but it wasn't very expensive. I will link everything I'm talking about down below in the description box. But if you are like myself and you have a hard time drinking enough water, something like this might be really beneficial. In a recent video, I asked you for suggestions for a lip plumper. Now I am not a lipstick girl, I'm not a makeup girl, but I like the occasional lip plumper just to give my lips some volume and a little bit of a hint of a color. So several of you suggested the e.l.f. lip plumper. I really, really like this. First of all, this is really inexpensive. It was $6.99 on Amazon. It is also vegan and cruelty free. It has vitamin E and coconut oil, so it's really hydrating but it doesn't have phthalates or parapens or a bunch of other stuff we don't necessarily want on our lips. This right here is the pink Cosmo, but it comes in other colors. I have it on right now, so it just gives me a hint of color and it does an okay job plumping my lips. It doesn't plump them too much, which I'm okay with. In the past, I have used some very aggressive lip plumpers and they made my lips really hurt and kind of look like a clown. They sort of stained the outside of my lips temporarily, but still it didn't look very good. This does not do that. This hydrates my lips nicely. It gives them, like I said, a hint of color. 
it stays on beautifully even if I drink or eat and it just gives me a tiny bit of plumping. So thank you so much for suggesting this. I really, really like it. This right here I talked about in my morning skincare routine. This is by Sonidas and I don't think the camera will focus in on it. I'm sorry about that. But this is by Sanitas and it is the Glyco Solution 10%. So this is a 10% alpha hydroxy acid solution. It is amazing. It is quite powerful. So alpha hydroxy acids, as we know, help with exfoliation. They can also help stimulate collagen and elastin production. So this is a solution you put on a cotton pad or gauze pad and wipe your skin down with it. This has 10% glycolic acid. It has a couple of amino acids. It has arginine and glycine and then water, of course, and just a couple other ingredients. So it doesn't have a whole bunch of ingredients. It is, as I said, powerful. I use this about two or three days a week and though it is powerful, and I can definitely tell it exfoliates my skin, it doesn't irritate my skin. My neck doesn't really like it, but my neck is really sensitive. But my face, no irritation at all. However, if you have sensitive skin, they also have a 5% solution. You might want to start with that if you are curious about this. But the brand Sonidas, I have actually really been enjoying. I think in my last, <laughs> I'm sorry, I always have to laugh when I hear Rudy. He is so talkative. Every time I turn on the camera, he just wants to chime in. So in my last, I think, three What I'm Loving Right Now videos, I have talked about a Sanitas product. I just recently discovered the company, but everything I've tried so far, I am really enjoying. If you know the brand Truth Treatments by Ben Fuchs, this is actually his first baby, but it's a bit cheaper than Truth Treatments. And like I said, I have really been enjoying everything I have tried from them. If you have used any Sanitas products, let us know down below what you think about them. And also, if you have tried anything I'm sharing with you, let us know down below, please, how you like it. This right here is another product I talked about in my morning skincare routine. This is by Dermasense and it is the Rosamin Tinted SPF. So this is a mineral sunscreen and it has an SPF of 50. However, it comes out in a green color and then when you rub it in, it rubs right in and the green color disappears. But what it does, it beautifully calms down redness and evens out redness. I have been using this on my neck and chest, which are always, always red. It is just years of accumulated sun damage. So this is evening out that redness beautifully without any greasiness. It is protecting me from further sun damage since it does have an SPF of 50 and it has really calming ingredients. It has Centella Asiatica, which is a very calming ingredient. It has Calendula. This is beautiful. The only caveat, you cannot get this in the United States. So if you live in Europe, this is amazing. This is a German product, but they actually send all over Europe. So if you live in Europe, this is beautiful. If you live in the United States, several of you told me that Dr. Jod Sikapea is very similar to this. And I actually compared the two in ingredients and they are quite similar. The Sika pair only has an SPF of 30. This is an SPF of 50. But as far as ingredients, they are quite similar. They are both physical SPFs. The Sika pair also has Centella Asiatica, so they are quite similar. And I'm assuming that the Sika pair does just as beautiful of a job as this evening out redness and calming it down. If you use Zika Pear, please let us know down below how you like it. But this is something I have been really loving and I'm so glad I found something to help a bit with that redness. And then by the same brand, a friend of mine in Germany 
sent me their body lotion and it probably won't focus in again but this is the Dermasense alpha hydroxy acid body and face lotion this is amazing in my last what i'm loving right now video i talked about the paula's choice 10 percent alpha hydroxy acid body lotion which is beautiful this is very similar but it is a bit more hydrating this also has urea so it has the 10 percent alpha hydroxy acids which again helps with exfoliation collagen production it can help with rough skin hyperpigmentation so it has the 10% alpha hydroxy acids and it also has urea and urea at a higher percentage is actually also exfoliating but at a lower percentage is hydrating so i believe this has only 3% urea but it is beautifully hydrating so again unfortunately you cannot find this in the united states but you can find it all over europe and if you live in the us the Paula's Choice 10% alpha hydroxy acid body lotion is just as beautiful. I go back and forth between the two, but I wanted to mention this because if you live in Europe, this is probably a lot easier to find. And like I said, it is beautiful. And then another product for the body I have been absolutely loving is the Bio Repeal. I actually made a video on this. This is the Bio Repeal for the body. They also have one for the face. I made two videos on the one for the face. So if you have not seen the videos, I will link them down below. I won't go into too much detail because if you have seen the videos, I know many of you saw them and I know many of you love this as much as I do. So I won't go into too much detail, but this is something I have been really loving. And if you see my hands shedding a little bit, that's because of this. So this is a TCA peel for the body. TCA stands for trichloric acid, and it is an acid we use to exfoliate our skin. There are different percentages of TCA, and depending on the percentage is how aggressive the exfoliation or the peel is going to be. Now, I have never done a regular TCA peel because they kind of scare me. I also have heard that they are painful. There is a long downtime. You look like a lizard for a while. This is a biphasic TCA peel. So this does have quite a high percentage of TCA. I'm gonna show you a vial. This does have quite a high percentage of TCA, but it is a biphasic peel. So you can see it has two different colors. The blue layer has a lipid in it, and then the yellow layer is the TCA. It also contains alpha hydroxy acids as well as a beta hydroxy acid. It has amino acids and antioxidants. So all these other ingredients help buffer the TCA. This has 50% TCA, which is a high percentage if you would use it straight. In fact, I would never dare to use 50% TCA straight. But all these other ingredients buffer the TCA, making it less aggressive, but also more effective. Because these other ingredients work like biostimulators, telling our cells to produce more collagen and more elastin. So I have been doing a series of these you are supposed to do a series of four to six peels, and then you can take a break or do one once a month or so. But when you do this series, you do about four to six peels with about seven to 10 days in between. So I started this at the end of April on my body. Now on my face, I have been doing this quite a while and love it. But on my body, I started this at the end of April. Honestly, not the best time probably to start a peel on the body going into summer especially living in southern italy because now of course i have to really protect my skin from the sun since i am now creating this beautiful healthy new skin but i started it at the end of april i will finish it up now i'm almost done i just did my fifth 
So because I just did my fifth peel is why you can see a bit of flaking on my hands and probably also on my arms. But this is about as much downtime as you get. And when you use this peel, there's no pain, there's no discomfort, but the results are really amazing me. Now I've talked about before how I have really abused and neglected the skin on my body and it is showing it. I have so much sun damage, so many sunspots. My skin is just kind of crepey and weathered looking. So that is why I wanted to do this peel. And as I said, the results are amazing me. Unfortunately, I did not take before and after pictures because honestly, I didn't think I would see such good results. So I didn't take before and after pictures. However, I did find a before picture of my hand, which I had taken a while ago for another video. So once I'm done with my series, I will show you the before and afters of my hand at least. But I'm seeing the same results I'm seeing on my hand, on my body. I am loving it. My skin is so much healthier looking, so much less weathered looking. Like I said, right now it's looking a bit dry because I just did my fist peel. But overall, I am loving it. Even my husband is seeing results and that means a lot. So if you have been curious about the bio repeal, I absolutely love it, face and body. But I would say wait until the fall just to make sure you don't create all this beautiful healthy skin and then get more sun damage. And then the next item is a bit random, but I recently got new glasses. And the reason I wanted to share them with you is that I had no idea that you can now get lenses which block blue light. I actually have been wearing blue blockers for years now to help me sleep at night. But in the past, blue blockers used to have orange lenses and they came in a frame similar to what you would wear on a construction site. So they weren't very attractive, but they really helped me sleep. Wearing blue blockers at night a couple of hours before I go to sleep, especially if I watch television or if I'm on my devices, has made a huge difference for me as far as being able to fall asleep and the quality of my sleep. So in the morning, we want plenty of blue light from the sun, ideally, and that stimulates our body to produce cortisol and gives us energy. At night, however, once the sun goes down, in the olden days, before electricity, artificial light, television, devices, the sun would go down, which would signal to our body to drop cortisol and to raise melatonin. Cortisol and melatonin are in opposition to each other. So once melatonin rises, we get tired and we go to sleep. But now we are constantly bombarded by artificial light, by blue light stimulation, and that can really imbalance our circadian rhythm. So for that reason, I used to wear blue blockers. But like I said, they had orange lenses, they were not very attractive, and everything I looked at had sort of this orange hue. And my husband made fun of me. But I just recently got these new glasses, and these have blue blocking lenses in them. These are corrective glasses, but they have blue blocking lenses in them. They are not orange. There is no orange hue, but they block blue light. And I'm gonna take them off because you can probably see the ring light in there and it's a bit distracting. But another reason you might want to consider getting blue blocking lenses is not just to balance your circadian rhythm, but also if you are like myself, spending a lot of time on the computer, the blue light from our computers can cause eye strain, it can cause headaches, even migraines, but worse yet, it can actually cause macular degeneration. So if you spend a lot of time on computers or other devices which give off blue light, getting blue blocking lenses might not be a bad idea. And like I said, you can wear blue blocking lenses at night, watch television, be on your devices without imbalancing your circadian rhythm 
and you can go to sleep once you go to bed. So for me, like I said, blue blockers have made a huge difference in the quality of my sleep. But having these corrective lenses now, being blue blockers as well, has made a big difference as far as eye strain when I'm on my computer. Because I spend hours and hours on my computer and when I used to wear my old glasses, I mostly wear my glasses on the computer to avoid eye strain. But even with my old glasses, my eyes would get so tired and I would get a headache. With these, I can be on the computer for hours. My eyes don't get tired, I don't get a headache. So if you are in the market for new corrective glasses, blue blocking lenses might not be a bad idea. I love them. And then the last thing I want to share with you are actually two dresses I recently bought. Now, I am not much of a clothes shopper. I can buy skincare all day long, but clothes I'm really not that interested in. But having worn nothing but sweatpants and pajamas for the last year and a half, I really wanted to get a couple of cute dresses. So the first dress I got is the one I'm wearing right now. I really love this dress. All of the dresses I'm showing you are from Prana. I have no affiliation with Prana. In fact, I have no affiliation with anything I just talked about. These are just things I'm really loving and I wanted to share with you. But Prana is a website I have been shopping from for probably the last 15 years because I know how their clothes fit me. I know that they are super easy to take care of. Most of them don't have to be ironed, which is my kind of clothing. They are very versatile. Many of them you can hike in or also dress up. They're really great for traveling. So I really like their clothing and it's really good quality. I have dresses still in my closet, which I bought from them 15 years ago and they are still in great shape. So the first one is this one right here. And I really love what it looks like in the back. I think it's so beautiful. It is extremely comfortable. And again, it is one of those dresses you can just roll up, throw in a backpack. It doesn't have to be ironed or even steamed. It doesn't wrinkle. I can dress it up with some heels, which I hardly wear, but I could, or just dress it down with some flip-flops. I think it is really, really cute. And as I said, it is super comfortable. And then the next dress is this one right here. This is another one that is extremely comfortable, but I think also really beautiful. I love the back. I love, again, how I can crinkle it up and it doesn't have to be ironed or anything. It actually has a pocket, which I think is a nice detail. So this is another dress I can dress up, I can dress down. It is really light, super comfortable, perfect for the heat here right now. And then the last dress is this one right here. This is just kind of like a t-shirt dress. I thought this was really cute. Again, I can dress it up, I can dress it down. I could put a little belt around it, wear it with some jewelry. So this was another one I just really love. Personally, I love dresses. First of all, I think they are nice and feminine. And secondly, I think they're so easy. You don't have to think about matching anything, matching a top to the bottom. You put it on and you're good to go. So these are, like I said, three dresses that I recently bought that I'm really loving and looking forward to wearing. So these are all the things I have been really enjoying over the last couple of weeks or months. My ice pack has melted and if I am a sweaty mess, I'm sorry. Thank you so much for hanging in with me. Like I said, this room feels like a sauna. Unfortunately, I have an air conditioner actually right here, but unfortunately I can't turn it on because otherwise you won't hear me. But hopefully I'm not too much of a sweaty mess. And I would love to know in the comments anything that has made you happy lately that you have really enjoyed, please share down below. Also, of course, any questions or comments leave them down below. I always love to hear from you. Thank you so, so much for being here. Until next time, bye.